Because KeyServer creates a unique identifier for each computer record based on a prioritized list of hardware attributes, the very first thing you should consider when setting up your key server is how standard computer records will be ID'd. For example, if standard computers are identified by MAC address, the default setting, then each computer record will get a computer ID that's based on that attribute, and all of the usage and login data tied to each record will follow the lifecycle of the hardware even as it moves from location to location or user to user, and regardless of whether the computer name changes. However, if you choose for computers to be ID'd based on the computer name instead, then when new machines replace old ones, in lab environments for example, new hardware named after the old hardware replaced will automatically be associated with the original computer record so that login and usage data for the new machine will pick up right where records for the old one left off. There are other reasons you may need to modify your computer ID type priority list, but switching from MAC address to computer name is by far the most common. The only reason it isn't the standard default option is simply because MAC address can work anywhere, while computer name only works well on networks with standardized and well-maintained computer naming conventions. To be clear, MAC address, computer name, and other computer details are still recorded for every computer regardless of what we use for the computer ID within KeyServer. So all we're deciding here is which attribute we want KeyServer to use to identify them internally. If you're not sure which ID type will work best, simply leave the default setting in place until some data has been collected that might help to point you in another direction. If you have well-maintained computer names and would like usage and login data tracked against the computer name, even through hardware refreshes, here's all you need to do. At the top of Key Configure, under the Config menu, select Computer ID Types. Again, the default arrangement works just fine in most cases, and you don't want to experiment with the settings here because of the risk of unintentionally creating duplicate computer records, so I don't recommend making any changes here at the moment except for this one scenario. If you're sure that you'd like to use computer name as the primary ID type for everything except thin client sessions, simply drag computer name to the number two spot on the left side of this window and click OK. That's it. Reach out to us at support at to discuss the implications of other changes you might consider.